Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. What's up my parasocial besties that decided to stick around? Thank you, love you, appreciate you. To everybody else who's new or hasn't subscribed, hi! <laughs> You're still one of the parasocial besties. You've done it now. You clicked on this page. I'm sorry, it's a lifelong contract. You actually don't have to sign it. The signature and accept button was clicking on this video. So welcome. I hope you enjoy. Stay a while. Today we are going to be talking about the situation between Veruca Salt or for for. You're crying to me? I should be crying. And who was her friend? A woman named Tasha. I do not know what people want me to do online. Tasha has a few accounts for what will become very obvious reasons in a minute. Let's get started with the first video that really got me interested in this and then we'll talk about everything that's going on a little more in depth. I just want you to start with where I started because I was a Tasha stan for one whole video. It went downhill quick, what can I say? I'm your mom and I already know who you are because I peeked in the envelope. I'm your daddy, and I think that you're gonna be a boy. First off, I do gotta say that I love when an Australian tries to do a yeehaw accent. Yeah, yeah. Because that was pretty good to me. Nope. <laughs> don't talk about school. Nope. It's not funny. I know you don't live in America, so to you, it's probably like, huh. But like, it's not cute. It's not quirky. Kids these days have to go to school with clear backpacks and an open mind, ready to run at a moment's notice. That's not fun and that's not cute and it's not something to make fun of so f you for making that joke first off man columbine really did it god dude so i first see this video and i'm like okay another racist creator that's so cute. cute there's this woman who's saying super out of pocket stuff originally i thought it was about the root and tootin comment biatch uh no <laughs> it was about homie number one so i scroll through the comments I start seeing comments about Tasha shut the fuck up. Like, you messed up. What are you trying to do? Why are you pulling up these older seats? It's not the point. I saw stuff being like, yeah, Tasha, screw Veruca. You're the goat. You know, just dumb things. So then I was like, oh, this is in retaliation. This isn't just her having found this video and being like, oh, that's a problem. She had a motive. She was gonna make the pot boil. But it's just like, people stir shit. They stir the pot. And I'm like, stop stirring. Because I'll make it boil. And so this is her evidence i guess anyway i'm getting ahead of myself let's start at the beginning we'll let tasha tell the tale the voice will be changed to avoid copyright infringement do you know frustrates me for real is that there was this person that i was friends with because they asked to hang out with me and i knew they didn't have that many friends so i was like yeah okay sure and like also it's good to make new friends so at first i'm like ooh, tasha girl boss i love that for you um <clears throat> anywho tasha and veruca they talk they're not super besties, super close, whatever. But when Veruca finds out that she's pregnant, has a baby shower. Tasha gets invited. Tasha says that she gets her, like, this nice gift. Long story short, I become friends with this person. They then invite me to, you know, a function. I go, because I'm like, oh, they invited me. I want to go be a good person. So I go. I spend all this money on gifts for the function. In question, give it to them. Forget to buy a car. Don't get any thank you she sends it over veruca gets it crickets nothing according to tasha veruca never said sh and just decided not really to say anything to tasha after veruca received the gift from tasha i really hate how they both end in an ah Ah. So my little brain can't keep up. I'm sorry. I think I flip-flopped their names like twice now and I'm really sorry about that. I'll just, I'll asterisk when I f*** it up because it's a when, not an if, truthfully. So whatever. They don't really hang out from what I understand. Veruca has her son Cash and Tasha never meets him. They never hang out and vibe and get mimosas together. And unfortunately, two months after his birth in February, Cash ends up passing away. So initially, there's really no confirmation as to what happened. Veruca has to suffer through dealing with an autopsy for her son, and eventually it comes back and it turns out to be SIDS, according to her. Hi, sorry for the jump scare. I can't believe I didn't mention this. So as I'm editing, I realized that I forgot to put in that they did figure out what ended up happening to baby Cash. I'm gonna play you a little video and then come back with a quick commentary on this. So just give me a minute. This morning we're going to the hospital because one of us, not naming names, hasn't pooped in seven days. Okay, so just real quick, you heard that she said Cash hadn't pooped for seven days. Now there's another video that I wanna show you that I'm gonna explain the background to. Warning, images of poo. Sorry. 
Basically the context for that video. She has this cat, the cat dies. The lady who either was fostering the cat, like asked Veruca to foster it, or owned the cat and was suspicious of Veruca, was like, something doesn't sound right. Cause Veruca didn't say it died. Veruca said what had happened was the cat ran away. The cat ran away to the farm upstairs is what happened. So this lady who, as I understand it, gave Veruca the cat, goes over to Veruca's house. Tell me why her house looked like that. Listen, you can see my house. You can see my Taco Bell bag from my depression binge the other day. I get it. I just, oh my cat or dog, shits or pisses in my house. I just clean it up. It's messy. It's disorganized. There's a reason it's on cinematic camera because we don't need to see it in 4K. But the point is, I get it. You're busy. But the fact that our house was so dirty, so disorganized, and so just like unkempt and like kind of clearly negligent toward the pets made me take the video that i just showed you about cash not pooping for seven days in a different light and so like my personal opinion as you know we all have one i'm not here to cast judgment on anyone's parenting styles to me it doesn't look good that she was clearly so negligent over pets her kid didn't poop for seven days, and on the seventh day, she decided to take them in. I will give a caveat that I was talking to my therapist about this, because I love to kiki with my therapist sometimes. And she's like, okay, well, some people are told that seven days is okay to have your baby not sh She was like, I personally wouldn't, but some people do. So just be aware. So I just wanted to put that caveat in here, that some pediatricians will tell you wait seven days. I don't know how it is in Australia, but... I can't imagine, because if I don't for three days, you bet your buns, my butt cheeks are in the hospital getting myself a brown cow so we can remedy that situation right quick and in a hurry. I don't know. That's just my two cents. It looks fairly suspicious to me. It wasn't a good look in my opinion. And I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say. Okay, we're gonna get back to real editing and the Shayla who actually has makeup on and doesn't look like she just crawled out of bed three seconds ago. Okay, bye. So now, after her baby has passed, Tasha finds out she's, according to her, trying to be supportive. They find out some bad news. I send them flowers, teddies, all the shit, and I just... I'm made out to being a bad person, and it's just like... And she sends over, she says, like, a teddy bear, a gift basket, flowers type of thing. Just, I'm so sorry for your loss here. I'm thinking of you, you know? She's still hard-pressed that Veruca never said anything. Which this one? F*** you, Tasha. No. I'm sorry. But if that were to have happened to someone I know, and she were a mom or a dad, just a parent, you know, to this baby, and they had passed away in a sudden traumatic way, you're not getting a... God, thank you for me for a while. So you just better buckle in. Like, I'm sorry. I understand that that's not courtesy, but this isn't a freaking wedding gift. This isn't a birthday gift. This is a, I'm sorry, your baby RIP'd gift. Veruca quite honestly has other sh to worry about. She has bigger fish to fry and she doesn't have to deal with thank you notes at this present time. Give the a minute. So the reason everything popped off in such an epic and awful way is because Tasha gets invited to Cash's funeral. And Tasha is basically like, okay, I don't want to go empty handed. What's your favorite alcohol? She messages Veruca, figures out her favorite alcohol, brings it, and then gets absolutely fucking obliterated at this funeral for a baby saying like, oh, well, I also had an abortion recently. And so it was just like really sad. So I was doing shots about it. I get it. I understand, not from personal experience, but I understand how that could be traumatic. That sounded judgy. I'm not judging anyone who's done it. Do you? It's not my damn business. It's your body. The point is I've never had one, but I could imagine how that could be extremely traumatic to go through. That being said, another woman's funeral for her baby who has passed again, quickly and traumatically, it is not the time to be going on about your... It's, it's a time to keep your nose down, to cry with your friend, to sure, even get smashed, get obliterated. I don't care, but don't do what you did, which is make it all about yourself and your own <laughs> Th That's nuts to me. This bitch really stood out there in a drunken stupor making this speech about- <laughs> Something fell that scared the shit out of me. Making this speech about how I never met Cash, but like, you know, I've been going through my own stuff and that's why I never had a chance to meet him. But, you know, Veruca's a good mom. Veruca takes care of her son. I love her. She's really stepped up for him, blah, blah, blah. Just like kind of going on and on in the most generic possible way. Like, girl, shut the fuck up. 
up. No one needs your opinion. You never even met the baby. Just stay in your sweet little drunken lane and shut the f up for like five minutes. This isn't about you, okay? But she couldn't. She couldn't handle it. And so then she gets up, makes a speech, has to get cut off by Veruca's best friend's dad. And then everyone has to like distract her so she'll shut the hell up so that they can finally shut the door on the hearse and take Cash to his final resting place. Now, with all that said, we're gonna start watching some of the videos related to this. I want to throw my two cents in because my opinions are valid, okay? My therapist told me so. So we're gonna start with Tasha's abysmal speech at the funeral and then we'll just kind of work our way around the timeline from there. I'll explain it as we go, okay? They're not gonna be in chronological order. We're just gonna have to get right with that, but I'll tell you what order we're in when we get there, okay? Perfect. Let's start. We can speak. We can say something. It's a woman touch my life. Off the bat, the reason she says we can speak, we can say something is because no, we couldn't. Veruca was like, shut the f*** up. Don't speak. I do not want you to speak at my son's funeral. And Tosh said, okay, great. Hold my shot. I'm going to be up there if you need me. Thank you so much. I never got the pleasure to make Tosh because of my own circumstances as Veruca knows, but I know how much of a mother and how much she blossomed during that period of having Tosh in her life. And it was so honoring to see how fucking nurturing and beautiful and how in tune you were with your instincts and being Tasha's mother. Which already is such a weird thing to say, like talking about how Veruca blossomed. Why are we talking about the problems that Veruca had prior to this anyway? This is not about her. This is about her RIP baby. So I'm actually not sure why we're talking about what a blossom season that she had. It breaks my heart that I never got to meet him, but I'm glad that I got to be in her life. I'm glad I got to be here today. Um, I'm sorry that I never got to see here and meet him himself, but I'm glad that I got to see him. Everyone just looks so tired of her. The baddie with a bob cut is just looking around like, is someone going to get this bitch off the stage? What is happening? Someone's talking in the background. Cicadas are going absolutely buck wild. So it's really hard to hear. So I'll try. I'll try to do my best editing in the software whenever I get done recording this. And I'll try to make it sound more clear. But long story short, in case you're having a hard time figuring it out, all she said so far is, boohoo, I never got to meet him. Wow, Veruca, you're such a good mom. Let me suck the farts out of your ass at the least appropriate time. <laughs> so now at this point, if you didn't read the caption, someone else is like, hey, girl, come here. Let's stop talking. Talk to me instead. How about? But we're not done because Tasha has more to say. I fully believe that she came script in hand. She's not texting her friends right now. She's looking through her notes app, trying to figure out whatever stupid other thing she needed to get off her chest. Ash, it's my love little baby that never will be my older brother. My older brother is in the fucking gold courage of Queensland. He is the most fucking baddie attention man that will ever be on the Gold Coast. This part is really hard to hear, and I'm pretty sure what she's saying is that essentially, long story short, Cash was a baddie, and like, sexualizing him in a really weird way that I think she thought was funny. Like, oh, you're such a bad bitch. All the girls in heaven are gonna love you. And then she says something really out of pocket in a second that had me going. Let's just watch. Make him live with like forever laughing pussy and He gonna grow up. He gonna grow up Don't say that. That's so weird. He is a baby. Genuinely, I still am at a loss for words. When I first heard that, the way my jaw dropped, I was waiting for it to dislocate. That was insane. You don't talk about babies getting put- <laughs> You don't talk about anybody getting p at a funeral. And then by saying the F word, I know I sound like such a prude being like, mm, the F word. But like, don't say f at a funeral. Stop it. She's back. I am obsessed with the way that her family was like, okay, Tasha's descending again, get her off. And everyone just like swooped in to be like, okay, you're done, you're done, get out of here. I do love that support system for Veruca.
I don't love Veruca and we'll kind of get into it a little bit, but this video really isn't about her past transgressions. It's about this funeral debacle just before anyone's like, um, why are you coming to her defense when she's done this, this, and this? Because listen, she has done this, this, and this. I am also of the belief that people can change extremely quickly, especially when having gone through a traumatic situation. I feel as though I'm proof of that to myself. And so, you know, maybe it's a little projection, but I always believe that people can change extremely quickly under the right circumstances. So I don't even want to speculate on what kind of person Veruca is right now. She's going through a lot. And just as another human to human, I don't want to like really hyper fixate on her past. The only reason I'm really bringing up some of the stuff is just before someone jumps down my throat. Here's the thing. Veruca has done fucked up. Shit. She, in my opinion, isn't the best person just based on what I've seen on the internet. The internet is the internet. So, you know, people say stupid stupid stuff to get a rise out of people. Shane Dawson, Trisha Paytas. I woke up this morning feeling like a chicken nugget. Looking at you, babes. You know, historically, people have gone off the wall to get attention. A lot of what Veruca says seems like a cry for help. Like, I don't feel bad for her. She's a f***ing adult. See a therapist. But I can also empathize with the fact that she has gone through this loss. I don't know how this trauma has affected her because as far as I'm concerned, and maybe I'm just stupid for thinking this, but I have experienced extreme trauma that has literally caused a day and night shift in who I was. And I grew extremely quickly because it was bad stuff that I've gone through, you know? And so I think that people can change extremely quickly. And so I also don't really want to harp on Veruca's past because she could still be a shit bag. Who knows? But this could have also changed her to the point where she's like, I'm so sorry. I was such a piece of shit. Having a baby really changed me and having to endure his loss has changed me even more. Outside of the first video I showed you, specifically because that was the first video that I saw, we're not gonna get into the drama. I hope that's not what you're waiting for. Go. I tried. I've talked to brothers several times on here, and I tried to go to church, and I ended up sleeping with a guy in a trouble. Why? <laughs> I get it. I get it. We're being edgy and slaying girl boss. Like, you're so funny, and I love that for you. I love your body autonomy. I love that you're a hypersexual person, but shut the f*** up. Like, this isn't funny. And trying to make a joke out of it is like, can you, can you just not? Again, can you maybe just log off, talk to some professional, professional Take time for yourself. Go sit in the ocean for a little while and just think about what you've done. I don't care. Do something that doesn't involve the internet, though. Even if you just want to make content for your OF still, okay, you know what? I'll give you that because you need to get that bag. That's okay. But you're getting funds from multiple places. You do not need to be in your influencer era. You can be in your showing your butthole on the internet era. Okay, fantastic. I love that for you. But at least over there, you're not going to be alluding to any of this, hinting at any of this. It's just going to be you, the dicks you've employed, the toys you've brought. That's great. Or even maybe, maybe another female. I don't know. I haven't subscribed to her OF. I'm certainly not going to subscribe to her OF. But you do what you want, queen. Just stop talking. <laughs> stop talking about anything about this and just talk about how good it feels going to pound town okay stop talking sorry i'm just i'm sorry but i'm going to hell definitely like i'm the only child in my family that isn't baptized so let's just say enough for you <laughs> listen not being baptized doesn't say shit to me because i feel as though i'm a good person i believe in a creator i'm not getting into it but i don't think i'm going to hell excuse me just because i'm not baptized I don't know. I don't conform to religion, okay? I have my own wonky thoughts and beliefs, but like the fact remains, personally, I'm gonna have to say that not being baptized is probably lower on the list of transgressions that have gotten you a seat in hell. So anyway, let's take a little peeksy poo at what Veruca originally posted right after the death of her baby. Once these videos of Tasha started to circulate and all of this drama started to crop up. It's a pretty long video for TikTok. It's like three minutes and 19 seconds, which that's a long time. Okay. <laughs> My attention span doesn't last that long. I assume yours probably doesn't either. So I'll break it down for you bit by bit, or at least in the most relevant bits, because this <gasps> loves to babble. I, I mean, sister, yeah, same, but we have a video to make here, and I don't need three minutes and 19 seconds of all of your words. Thank you so much. I don't know if you guys heard, my baby died. <laughs> 
When I was like pregnant, I bought tickets to Taylor Swift this weekend on Saturday and I knew that my baby would be like a little over two months old when I was supposed to go to Taylor Swift but I'm going tomorrow and I'm still here and I still came, I'm in the hotel, I'm gonna have dinner tonight and stuff and all. I thought I just feel the need to like make a video because I know that people are just gonna be like, oh, she's at Taylor Swift? It was her fucking baby's funeral the other day. My baby's funeral was literally on my birthday, <laughs> my real birthday. I just gave it up, I was like, no, I'll just do it for my baby and ever since my baby died I have really bad anxiety like so bad oh I don't want to cry yet. and I just don't want to like give off the impression that like I don't care and like all this because I <laughs> I care the most is my baby but like I've listened to Taylor Swift since I was like, like seven years old I love her she makes me so happy and it's like this is supposed to be like my fucking dream come true and I like don't even feel excited it's just oh, it's so annoying and I still want to go because obviously I listen to Taylor Swift every single day of my life when my baby was in the womb, when he came out, every morning I would put him to sleep to Taylor Swift He would have a bath to Taylor Swift, he would do, like, get dressed to Taylor Swift We, we love Taylor Swift His favourite album is the Evermore album Cowboy Like Me, Nobody No Crime, those are his favourites That sucks Like, that sucks dick and balls that she had purchased these tickets, loves her some T-Swizzle and now, A, probably has a different relationship with every single album especially the evermore album and her specific two songs that cash loved so that fucking sucks that you can no longer enjoy taylor in the same way i'm so sorry for you i'm not like a swifty but you know i feel like all of us have had a favorite thing that got ruined by some <laughs> shitty situation so i can empathize but it's just sad that she feels the need to post this and i don't mean sad like pathetic it's sad as in i'm sad for her that like my love can't even enjoy a night out with the girls after experiencing such a heartbreaking loss without feeling the need to rationalize what she's doing but Quite frankly, I don't think she had to say shit. I could see why she would want to just to try and like mitigate a lot of the anger that she for sure would get. Long story short, I think it's really sad that she felt the need to make this because she just knew that she would get eviscerated had she just gone to Taylor Swift and had the best night of her life, which I don't think she would have had a great time to begin with because hello, you just went through something bad. But anyway, let's keep watching. And it's just annoying because like the plan was for me to leave my baby with his dad and I should just be like stressed about that, about leaving my baby, about having to like pump the whole time to keep my milk and I don't even have milk anymore. It's just everything and it's just like not how I picture it to be and it's really shit. And I just don't want the end of it fucking drag me for doing it. Anyway, I'm just, it's just fucking shit and it's shit to go through in front of everyone and I hate it. And that's my whole video. Anyway. So I have an opinion about that statement. It's shit to have to go through it in front of everybody. No one's making you. And I mean that with peace and love. No one's making you. You can just fuck off into the abyss and everyone can suck your left titty about it because it's not their goddamn business. Go off, do what you need to do and stop updating everybody. It's okay. And if it's not okay, then those people are weird and they need to find a hobby because it shouldn't be our information. It shouldn't be our problem. It shouldn't be our business. With peace and love, you're making it our business. So just stop talking. The only reason she even posted about this was because people were commenting on how cute her baby was, how he's gonna be cute when he grows up. Like, hold on. I have the Instagram post. Let me just pull it up. She says in her Instagram post, quote, it is with a heavy heart that I'm writing this. My baby died in his sleep Monday morning. I don't know what happened. He is having an autopsy this week, but it is unlikely that I'll ever have an answer. I'm just saying this because people are still commenting on my TikTok saying how happy I look with him and just wait for the toddler stage and stuff I really can't take anymore. I'm really sorry. Unquote. Um. <laughs> oh, ow. Sorry, I'm not crying over this. I'm crying because I put my nose ring in and I forgot and I itched my nose and almost gave myself a second septum piercing. Okay, we've had our adrenaline rush for the day. We've scraped our little nose and we're just gonna keep it moving. It still hurts, but we have bigger fish to fry, so let's keep going. Okay, so Veruca makes it everyone's problem initially because she's basically discussing, cannot handle the comments. I love that you guys love this for me. Her baby, not the death but unfortunately it's no longer happening for me and I really need you guys to stop talking about it. Obviously everyone who it didn't even die, it's plugged in, so I really don't know what's going on. Just give me a f minute, please. Look. <laughs> Well, gosh, f 
And friggity damn it, we're going off our natural lighting and our lamp because I don't know what happened to my ring light. This is a comeback to be sure. So let's get to the video that started the drama for this whole thing. We'll call it the catalyst and it started with Tasha. Do you know what frustrates me for real is that there was this person that I was friends with because they asked to hang out with me and I knew they didn't have that many friends. Shady. So I was like, yeah, okay, sure. And like, also, it's good to make new friends. Long story short, I become friends with this person. They then invite me to, you know, a function. I go, because I'm like, oh, A function. I mean, at least she's trying to keep it cute for the schoolyard. She's not going out of her way to be like, this is Veruca, and it was her baby shower. And she's a bitch! Like, at least she's not calling Veruca out by, like, age, name, location. She's trying to keep it low-key. People figured it out pretty quick what she was talking about, but, like, she kind of tried. I'm gonna give her a little credit. I spent all this money on gifts for the function. In question, give it to them. Forget to buy a car. Don't get any thank you. To be fair, you forgot the fucking card. <laughs> how is she supposed to thank you? Imagine how weird it would be to text someone after your party or whatever and you're like, hey, what present did you get me? And they're like, oh, nothing. She was probably just trying to avoid that weirdness. Yeah, but it's shitty not to just send out maybe a generic like thanks. Sure. But I don't know. I, I feel like it feels disingenuous also to just send like a, a generic thank you, not, oh, a thank you for XYZ thing. I feel like that's what people do, especially when they're receiving gifts off like registries and stuff. I don't know. That's just been my experience. You let me know what your experience has been. I feel like if I didn't have a card, I would also be a little hesitant to be like, thank you for the present because it just feels rude. I just think it's not that weird to send out a thank you when you don't even know for sure that you received a present from that person and again how are you supposed to ask that is so weird i wouldn't ask <laughs> if i was veruca i'd be like wow thanks girl boss i love that gift it was a cool gift and it'll be used for years to come thank you just keep it vague despite tasha's attempt i guess at anonymity veruca found out and veruca was not happy and veruca went on a pretty valid tirade against tasha again her closet wasn't clean her side of the street was filthy and unfortunately tasha decided to pop back and that's where this kind of went off the rails again she just lost her baby just let her be an asshole she's going through enough i'm not trying to say like oh if you're going through something just be an asshole to people it's fine <laughs> just like go abuse your friends and family it's okay that's not what i mean but i do mean now is not the time to stand up and try and defend yourself now's the time to just shut up you don't have to allow it i don't think she should allow veruca to belittle her and demean her and say like kind of things to and about her i think she just needs to stop talking and just let veruca talk her stuff and let it go because honestly if tasha just stopped talking i really think this would be over by now because she's the one who's perpetuating it in my humble opinion i mean feel free to disagree but in my opinion it's not worth it it's not worth making yourself look like a f idiot online and losing your self-respect or i mean i'm sure she's fine i'm sure she doesn't feel a goddamn thing but losing the respect of other people and your dignity is like that is so hard to get back i mean all that to say stop talking the the video should be titled just stop talking shut the fuck up veruca so now veruca has seen all of this start to go down and on her instagram she posts sorry i'm looking at my laptop so veruca goes on this tirade veruca posts this as her first picture on her Instagram spill sesh. Now the video she's referring to is this one. So now I just got Verica some John Julio, Julio. I don't know how to say that shit. I don't actually drink tequila, but she's gonna need it. Um, yeah, so it's gonna be a pretty heavy day. I've been at funerals before, but never for a baby. Um, so it's just, yeah. I have. There's not a lot to say to be honest. I have to say. It's weird to have a funeral vlog. No, I've been to funerals. Never have I ever felt the need to sit in my car and talk about it. I felt the need to get there, sob my gross little heart out, and go home and cry some more. But never have I ever, never have I ever. I appreciate the artistic direction 
of this video. Maybe it's not the time to make your directorial debut and try and make your vlog vision come to life. We don't need that. It's okay. You can just show the video and go. We don't have to be adding the balloons as some ambiance to the video. It's not Veruca. She's pissed. So according to her, she had already seen one of the videos that Tasha had posted, but noticed there was a weird edit. Scoured Reddit same and found the full video which is what we just watched like bits and pieces of and she was pissed she was like what the f is this this is so weird so then veruca is heated and so she goes on this just giant tirade on instagram we'll read through some of the things that she said so she starts basically by saying why the fuck is this still happening this was six months ago and we really shouldn't be talking about it anymore but now tasha's decided to open her mouth and make it my problem so here we are so she goes on to say basically this is her dream baby she spent a shitload of money on it because she was just hyped about having this baby and then she goes on to talk about what tasha talks about in her initial video where she's like i spend all this money on gifts for the function give it to them forget to buy a card don't get any thank you so let me just directly read this real quick and we'll talk ruka says quote also in the most humble way possible if you have had a baby you know this these little baby gift baskets are garbage and nothing in them will ever be used so acting like you're a hero for bringing a baby gift basket to my baby shower is nuts and it's not even something sentimental or anything with any thought put into it let's break check real quick this is such a stupid thing to bring up in my humble opinion i don't think it really needed to be brought up i I think that Veruca could have just maybe glossed over this one because like you kind of do sound like a little bit of a brat like it was just a gift basket okay shut the fuck up she didn't have to get you anything so stop being ungrateful i'm sure i'm just nitpicking and i'm sure she's just sensitive i mean i could see why she'd want to mention it but not everything needs to be explained i promise you that much the other part that i thought was really weird was talking about tasha's abortion this one makes more sense as to why she would need to clarify because if Tasha's like, she told me to, uh, mm -hmm, I'd want to clarify. So she goes into saying that basically she talks to Tasha, gives her her best advice about whether or not she should keep the baby. And then it seems like Tasha had already made up her mind and was just being like kind of shady weird about it and kind of led Veruca on being like, lol, maybe I'll get an abortion. And it seemed more showy. It seemed like she was in a weird way stringing Veruca along for this detail, which is a weird thing to do to begin with. I don't know. I'm not gonna speak on what's in your headspace in that moment, but all I'm saying is it's a little weird. So then Veruca goes into the fact that Tasha, around the same time as being like, I don't know if I should end up terminating my pregnancy or not, posts a picture of her just vibing at the clinic. So real quick, I realized as I was looking for this picture that I thought that Tasha had posted herself, it was posted by a fan who really violated Tasha at her most vulnerable moment. So I don't want to perpetuate that. I had misunderstood and thought that she had posted it herself. Regardless, I think she was being kind of weird about the whole thing. And I don't really still know why she was stringing Veruca along as she knew she was going to go and end her pregnancy. Well, let's get back to the video. So like, why did you bring it up? Why? <laughs> didn't you just say no I decided which I mean you don't have to tell anybody what you're doing but don't post it on your close friends stories on Instagram that you don't have Veruca added to like that's just arguably to me a weird thing to do so then Veruca goes on like a multi-page explanation of what happens at the funeral so TLDR she goes into obviously how traumatic all of this is already the funeral parlor up and left baby cash on his face and if you know about lividity where the blood settles it fucked his face up man that's awful so now veruca has to deal with the death of her son on top of the fact that she can't see his full beautiful baby face so that makes me want to cry for her that's really fucked sad so that's just exacerbating the trauma on top of all of this so she's got him in her house she's got the ac down she's spending each night in his room with him i think she says two nights that she's with him until the funeral takes place at their house and then they're gonna have the funeral parlor come take him away and then they're gonna have the burial so that's what she's talking about at the beginning of this so then she goes on to talk about the funeral itself she talks about how tasha was getting lit off her tits how there was the what was it the blue caribbean punch because her baby was half caribbean so they had that at the baby shower they're having it here this entire time tasha's just having a grand old time talking about getting cream pied in front of a seven-year-old it's all very weird i don't know why tasha i love your body autonomy i love that you're a sexually open woman that is so good for you but shut the f 
up. Again, time and place, baby. It's a funeral. So anyway, Tasha's pretty blitzed at this point, and she's been following Veruca around the entire funeral. And Veruca's like, okay, you know, just not really paying attention. Tasha's essentially, it sounds like, hanging all over her. The rest of Veruca's family... They're a little preoccupied, what with the grieving process. Veruca's friends, preoccupied, also grieving. And then there's Tasha, who's known this girl for like a year, maybe, from what I could find. And she's just running around talking about her cream <laughs> hole. But she's clung to Veruca. And Veruca's like, okay, fine, whatever. Like, not really paying attention because she shouldn't have to. But Tasha was just being kind of messy. Veruca said that every time Tasha would move into a room everyone to kind of shut up because Tasha was so sloppy and drunk that she was just saying the most egregious things. And increasingly, as the day is going on, she's getting more drunk, more drunk, more drunk. And that's how we wound up with that video talking about Cash getting mad pussy in heaven. Mm, Stop drinking in public. If this is going to be, if this is your move, don't drink in public, please. For the love of God, don't do that at a funeral ever again. Or at a wedding. I feel like she would be the one to show up in white to her ex's wedding that she was still friends with because she's not like other girls and talking about how they <laughs> creamed each other. Whatever. Anyway, moving on. So, Veruca mentions apology texts. And you might be thinking, what are you talking about? We haven't talked about a text. Don't you worry, friends and fam. I, <laughs> I have the text. They're for sure more than this and you can find them if you so choose. But this is the script screenshot I'm most interested in. So Tasha says, quote, also wanted to message and say I'm sorry for getting so drunk yesterday. I think the lack of food and shots, etc. knocked me on my ass. I'm sorry if I was inappropriate or insensitive in any way as it wasn't my intention. It was a beautiful celebration for him and I'm glad I got to be there for you. Cool? I guess? At this point, the damage was done. Tasha had already talked her shit and posted her videos. So Veruca says, Is there a reason you're posting a video on TikTok about me after completely ruining my son's funeral? Like, do you really want online beef when if I opened up my mouth about everything you did and said at my baby's funeral, it would be over for you. That's right. You tell her. Shut her up. Veruca's never come through with the receipts on that as far as I know. So I'll update you if she ever decides to end her. I'd be so curious to know what Tasha allegedly did that would cause things to be quote unquote over for her. So yeah, I mean, I hope Veruca never comes out with the receipts because she doesn't need to perpetuate this. Neither does Tasha. They just need to go their separate ways and keep it moving. You know what I mean? Now that this notes app message has been posted on Instagram, Tasha shit and bricks. Kind of. She comes back with this video. There's obviously a little stuff being a set online right now. And I have, don't have anything more to say about it. Like, I, I said, but I had to say, I explained myself. Mm-hmm. And then she proceeds to make several other videos on the topic, but okay, pop off. Said, yeah, I got too drunk and I shouldn't have been in that funeral after, obviously, going through something prior to that. So, what she's talking about there is her boy. And at one point, it might be in this video, but I can't really remember what video it was, but she talks about how being at the funeral was so triggering for her because of her abortion. So for a little context, that's what she's referring to. Um, but also, obviously I have a snake in my close friends. The three screenshots of the messages of support or people backing me was because I was too lazy to go through and screenshot more and have them all in. But yes, no, you're right, I've only had three support messages. You're so right. She's like, God forbid, I have support. I just don't get the purpose of this video other than to say, see, I'm not that much of an asshole if more than three people support me. Like, girl, that's not the point. Whether or not you're an asshole, this is not what you need to be answering for. Why did you spend a minute talking about this? God knows, not me. I got the receipts. My friend automatically deletes messages, but I went on my laptop and I found them. So here they are. So these are the messages that weren't shown. I've shown you from I'll be that beautiful because the message above that had an address in it and all the details for the funeral and I don't want to put that in here. But I then went on to say, you know, I love you here for you. I'll see you then. Reach out if you need anything. I then reached out on the day of the funeral and let her know about the TikTok I posted. Okay. So that was another point of contention. Just by the way, aside no it's not we have bigger fish to fry than this but basically what she's talking about is she told veruca yeah i'm gonna post about the funeral but she didn't really tell us it was gonna be a vlog style i don't know why i said us she didn't tell veruca she didn't tell veruca that she was going to post a vlog 
like a, a spend a day with me at a baby's funeral style vlog, which was a choice, a maneuver to be sure. The fact that you needed to make content out of this is weird. I then reached out to everyone. An Instagram account got deleted and then I reached out again saying, again, I am sorry. I'm aware of my actions and they weren't okay. I'll leave it there so you guys can read it. But like, does anyone not remember what Varuka did to Peach? Okay. This pisses me off though. Because why are we deflecting? Yeah, Veruca was a bitch to Peach. I love Peach, the biggest crush. So yeah, fuck you, Veruca, for being a bitch to Peach. Okay, leave her alone. But that's, again, your receipts are these, what? Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six texts saying what we already knew. Veruca didn't post the ones basically being like, what alcohol do you want? Love you, babe. See you soon, girl boss. Okay. The most relevant text anyway was the one about you apologizing for getting lit off your ass. So I don't really understand why right now the dilemma is, okay, well, Veruca did this. Okay, and did you up did veruca come over and shell over your dead son's funeral i didn't think so so maybe this isn't the time or place to be bringing up veruca's past transgressions we can get to that eventually we can maybe cross that bridge in the future and hold her accountable then but let the girl grieve okay spatial awareness i guess is just not her strong suit and that's okay except for right now no it's not it's actually not okay never mind i take that back i'm aware of my mistakes i'm okay with myself i've forgiven myself so it's all good i reached out I knew what the issue was. I'm aware of it. I'm accountable. That's all I can do. What do you want me to do? I've said sorry. I said sorry to her in these messages as well. And I was quite respectful and concise in them as well. So. And I'm so happy for you that you've forgiven yourself because it truly is extremely important when you fuck up to take accountability, forgive yourself, and keep it moving. But this, to me, unacceptable. It's not like it's an unforgivable offense, but what you're doing and the way you're handling this and dragging Veruca through this and re traumatizing her, her family, her friends, like it just pisses me off because you have no reason to continue this fight. And yet here you are. Are dying on this hill in any apology if i hear okay bye and this person did this like it's out the window i don't believe you i don't think you're actually sorry i truthfully can't imagine that tasha is so apologetic and so self-aware like she says in this video because if you had an ounce of self-awareness you would know that what you're doing is so beyond wrong and that this is so just wildly inappropriate. You literally talked about a baby getting puss. Stop talking. Stop trying to defend yourself. That was gross. You said some nasty shit. You acted in some really abhorrent ways. And now people are upset with you. And we're allowed to be upset with you. You are allowed to be upset, Tasha, that your feelings are hurt. You're allowed to be upset that you feel backstabbed, apparently. Like, your, your feelings are valid. But the way you're acting is completely out of left field and completely inappropriate leave your comments below please don't harass these ladies and tell me how you feel about this new style gently and that's that on that i hope you guys have the best most drama free fulfilling day ever and i hope that continues into the rest of your week month years and you die having a very successful life okay <laughs> but please don't make it soon great anyway bye